if you didn't know your ball sack was hanging though like i feel like that's a little unfair for you to get arrested for your nuts hanging out but that's just me i i don't know though the first scam you ever pulled it was like e-horn i would get like a picture of e-horn sounds like something that happens in discord it's got to be something discord related because there's, no, there's no way there's just literally no way <laughs> yeah, it's the fucking police it's the police hands up a scammer in real life Oh, you need a pill? I used to press those. I came a long way. I won't forget my favorite customs. <laughs> He's like the no, I got the fiends hooked. It's hard to say no. When they oh, come shit. back, they say they love the pills. I know I like those. He's I came out of process. Wasn't around, perfect. Bro. I keep my tester. I got to pay respects to my fiend, Heather. She yeah. took my you can put that up here. Everything's so free today. Out. Today we meet one of the Until most famous find scammers out where on that the internet, from. Punch Made Dev. He's made a name for himself as one of the biggest scam rappers on the internet with songs <laughs> scam like rappers. How to Write a Dump and Punch Anthem. On a social media Yo, I've been platform, actually, I remember an some of his shit of for real. And jewelry. Today, I ask him about the most common scams people are pulling right now so that we the people can better learn how to protect ourselves from scammers Yeah, like so I know him. how the to fucking stop getting those phone calls because goddamn, I don't know if it's just me. But I've been, <laughs> I've been getting so many phone calls, bro. No bullshit. Be aware of how it was so operate. bad. I just switched my number one to time. It was that bad, to bro. be the hero and not the villain. Not only is scamming a loser way to make money, but it also can carry a heavy penalty of up to 20 years in prison. The reenactments you're about fuck. to see are for they educational don't, they don't purposes care. only. They don't Fear care not one bit. <laughs> I'm hitting banks, dropping checks, cooking clones, and cracking cars. Our job today is to explore the most common scams that are out there. See how we can protect you, the viewer, from yeah, I'd appreciate it. And also that, my boy. a guy that is a true internet phenomenon and character punch made that we're not taking any chances with this guy we don't know how good of a scammer he is but i'm wait why does it feel back. like he's like snitching on them like high key like why would they agree to this <laughs> i don't understand why they would agree to this in the glove box it's fucking weird you look like you're out of a movie scene dude a character from gta or something shit and scamming What's your social security number? I got yours. <laughs> How I hard is it him. to scam somebody with uh, just their wallet? But there's actually this device. You can put it right up to your fucking like wallet. You got that chip on it. That's what we researched and that's why we hit our yes, credit right. cards from you. You <laughs> said so you hit the credit cards? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's <funny. laughs> This thing yeah. in my pocket. Like he really, he... <laughs> He really does that. That nigga laughed in the background like, yeah, that was smart. Because he really be doing that shit for real. Like that? Or oh, like, shit. just like this on some shit. And you can just, just walk up to me and be like, my bad, bro. Oh, and then I don't oh, got it. shit. Is yeah, that easy for real? All right. So you Nobody touch me in public. Card, I'm pushing you right off the Any rip. I'm pushing you. Now bro, picture fuck this. That. You got my credit card and debit card. You just ran my account empty. Yeah. Do you feel bad? Nah, banks nah. give you money back. You ever heard of like a TLO lookup? Like if I had your first and last name, your social would come up every day. I could probably find you real quick. No, no, no. That is actually Ooh, fucking crazy, nine. really? It's your birthday? You got a criminal record. Yeah, I got arrested once. Damn, what for? I did a prank channel. I, I had a fake ball sack that I was had hanging out in my pants. And an old couple thought I was really showing them my ball sack. So they arrested me for indecent exposure. They registered uh, in my thing. No, I'm not. Yeah, but what if you didn't know sorry. your like? What if you didn't know your ball sack was hanging though? Like, I feel like that's a little unfair for you to get arrested for your nuts hanging out. But that's just me. I I don't know though. <laughs> but that's just me for real. <laughs> How do you describe yourself in the scamming world? I feel like the whole world's a scam, but they just look at me as a bad guy. See, if I take money from because you, you're you fucking are. You, wait, like, oh, I just shot two people. I don't know why they look at me like a bad guy though. I really didn't really do anything for Blaze real. Gonna hurt. I mean, <laughs> what do you mean? My sims walk you and then just like posting like some crazy shit on your Instagram. Is that possible? Yes. You think you're a bad guy? Nah, I feel like it's worse people. Robin Hood was well liked because he took from the rich Not and gave the poor. Yeah. Do you view yourself as a modern day Robin Hood? Take Why? from the rich and give to the poor. I really take from the poor and then the rich. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's actually wild. You said I take from the poor and that shit makes me rich for real. Just me. What wallet do you recommend to people to protect them from scammers? There's no wallet. Or if it was, I wouldn't tell nobody. Okay, so how can someone avoid that wallet scam? Use Apple Pay, I guess. So but just don't carry a wallet? If yeah, he says to use it, that's I'm not using it. Yeah. How much does this thing cost? 38. $38,000. Just for the pin. How can Honestly, that's fucking real? hard. He's got a chain that's like a card. That's actually fucking hard. 
I mean, considering what he does. Like diamond sister. We can go to the drugstore. <laughs> that makes sense. I'm not sense. sure how legal this all is, but YouTube, this is educational purposes, a documentary. Don't ban this. Don't strike this. Don't age restrict it. Let me show the people what they need to see to protect themselves. So is there like an exit strategy in the scammer world? Because I feel like your your clock's ticking. My clock's ticking. I mean, Damn. eventually, right? I mean, even Al Capone got, got you know? I'm not Al Capone. I'm Punch Made Dev. Undefeated. What's your guy just taking? Yeah, that nigga's getting caught for sure. scamming. They doing bill, billion dollar scams. Like, nigga, how are you going to say you're not going to get like you're not gonna get caught but then you get on this nigga's channel telling them everything you do in What's regards to scamming like, shit we take it, it really don't hurt? add up right, guys bro. let's hit the bank what are you guys thinking my bullshit detector is going off a little bit that's fake bling i feel like it had really? like that tin can rattle to it Should i never called track I nyc it. and that's, see if you can tell us if punch mate yeah. stuff is real or fake yeah. <laughs> Hey, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm about to film someone doing something sketchy at a bank, but I need, I'm trying to find out how I can t tell if something's a fake diamond or not. We're with Punch Made Dev and he has allegedly quarter million dollars of bling on his neck and I want to call tracks and see how we know if he's legit or not. Do you have any like photos of it you could just send? I'm, I'm recording somebody that's doing something illegal, but I want you to find out if their chains are real. That's all I got to say. Yeah. <laughs> send me the photos and then I'll let you know. Cool, all right, sounds good. What the hell are you doing right now? I'm about to hit a wire. What does that mean? Log in and um, wire some money up. Tommy's trying to learn how to scale. <laughs> That's what Tommy's trying to no, do. No, the, the goal of this Please. episode is to learn how to protect the people at home from this type of He's trying to learn how to scam. How much you're gonna right after the video ends, he's like, all right, for real, like, how you do it, though? Do it. What's gonna happen, you're gonna walk in there, yeah. you're gonna wire transfer money to yourself from someone else's account. How quick is all this gonna happen, you think? 10 minutes? Have you that's, ever known someone that's, that's been actually scammed? scary. No, but I've almost been scammed myself. How, how did you almost get scammed? Well, I mean, people call you every day. With Somebody called me yesterday oh, and told God. me I had $2,500 worth of vacation points. And I've they, never signed up for anything. What should be the punishment for a scammer? There Probation? should definitely be a punishment. I don't know what the punishment should be. A jury should determine that. Fair enough. Has anyone attempted to scam you before? Yes. How do they do it? Uh, with my debit. And what happened to you when they tried to scam you? Uh, I just found a charge on my debit card that I didn't do. Ooh, this is in Arizona. <laughs> How much was it for? Mm. It wasn't a lot. It was only about $80. Did the bank refund you? Yeah, they did. What should be the punishment for scam? Yeah, isn't it up I'm to like 250000 sure. that they like would help you if some shit were to happen? I could have sworn that's like the amount for it. But the thing is, they be like, especially in India, they be going, <laughs> they be going fucking crazy on your shit for real. Like they will re literally run your shit up for real. They will run your shit up. They have like entire call centers for scamming people. I'm gonna try to just do a quick ten real quick. Oh, how nice of you, Deb. You're only taking ten racks instead of twenty ten thousand. All right, let's do it. These these filthy criminals. You guys are filthy. Okay. You guys are fucking wild. I'm not even gonna lie. You guys are scammers. <laughs> what do you guys think when kids look up to you? It's actually pretty crazy. You don't want to work for 50 years to back broke, and then you can finally do what you want because you finally got some money. How long do you guys want to be in the game for before you're? I, I want to be like probably 30, then we'll invest. Forever, nigga. So at least he's planning to invest it and just instead of just blowing it. But the thing is, it's not your money. But I guess no money's really your money, so. The richest niggas are live, be fucking scamming niggas, so I can't really judge, I guess. Let me make sure. Yeah, go ahead. What are you gonna do with this $10,000? I'm gonna uh, give it back. What's the most amount of money you ever walked out of a bank with? 70000 How did that feel? Feel good. Feel amazing. I went about a chain with it. We're gonna head to a gas station <laughs> next and show you the next scam to avoid. Hey, at least he was honest. We just got a message from Mickey. They're probably real. It might be more than a quarter million dollars. What? And um, on his God, Instagram, the one damn. with all like the MasterCards, I think nice. I saw like a different jeweler actually post them who made them like a while ago. So yeah, it's real. Sorry, Punch My Dev, we thought you were fake. You know who tracks NYC is? Yeah. I asked him if your shit was fake, guess what he said? He said it's real. Oh, he got me? <laughs> no, no, he said it's real though. Yeah, I know, I was saying he got my bag, man, you know? Ain't no denying that. This is why I thought it was fake, it was the clunking sound. 
every chance don't sound like that. Don't sound like that. You need to be looking suspicious. I will admit that I was wrong. Plus, I, I know I nothing wouldn't about know. I don't have so a quarter million on my neck. So we're getting into Yeah. and <laughs> dumps. And what's a dump? I, see, I feel like that's one of the right? I would get a track win, uh, a 101 or a 201. So I get the information off my site. You can use the white blanks, but this one's better because it got a whole face. This is the big boy win. The one right here, this is the Bluetooth one I got, but I couldn't bring it on the plane with me, so. How much does this cost? Can't be no more than like 100. And how much does this major? It's like over 500K. So if someone says they're a certified dumper, this is what they're talking about. They can Talk the about an, the dumps the skimmer, an investment the right there, right for real. Them. Say like, I know somebody working at McDonald's, right? I'll give them a skimmer and they work through the drive-through. Just say somebody's buying something right now, right? They'll pay, right? And then my person will quickly go like this, right swiping on the, uh, from my end, and that's when I get all the info. End of the day, I have like a list of like 20 of them. I'm about to wipe this one empty, I'm about to write up a dump on it for y'all. Is the FBI looking into you? Because how are you not in federal prison at this point? I know what I'm doing. You got a VPN, a proxy server, RDP. And the way someone stops this is by hitting lock on their bank account, right? Yeah. Like, all right, you hear that, folks? So as far as scamming goes, lock are you your like your NBA level scammer? Oh, I'm, I'm like LeBron. Cause they're gonna run it up on you for real. Make sure to <laughs> make sure to lock your shit up. Does yeah. your mother know you're a scammer? Nah, I tell her I do crypto. All right, so she now fucking I got the knows now. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> she, she knows for sure. So now I just wrote somebody else's info right here. How much money is on that card? This one got about like a six hundred dollar balance. Wherever y'all went, we gotta go get everything for free real quick. Are they gonna eat this cost, or will the bank eat this cost? The bank's gonna eat it. They really gonna? You're sure? For something small like this, that was a wire that'd be like 10 to 14. This so is when small. you get a message on your phone, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, was this you, and you yeah. just say no, and then they reimburse you. Give it back in like less than 24 hours. Tastes better, feels better when it's free. How <laughs> does it? Oh shit! So really, gonna... nobody necessarily loses in this shit. Like, <laughs> like if you get your money stolen for that little amount, you get reim really the only person that's losing in this shit is the banks, which. I'm kind of fine with it. I'm and actually kind of cool with that. Money. They can lie. spend the, the other guy's money. Has anyone ever tried to scam you before? Yeah, of course. In what way? Well, how do they try and do it? Oh, I got almost scammed on a puppy thing online. You had puppy to pay a down payment for a puppy almost, and then there was no I almost puppy. Think they were trying that. to with like fake pictures and then I just canceled it because oh, I said this was I get a scam. It. What do you think should happen to a scammer if they get caught? I mean, there should be some sort of legal repercussion. What do you think? That's tough to say. What but... would you say if you met a scammer in real life? You'd probably punch him. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why we all look at you. <laughs> <laughs> they all turn around. Yeah. Well, if I get scammed in the next 24 hours, I'll be calling you guys for help, okay? Yeah, we got you back. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> uh, everything's free for everybody today. What? Really? Yeah. Thank you. I would love some white owl white grape, please. Don't want anything. Everything's free today. Go get some. Go get you oh, some. Get 30 seconds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go get you some real quick. That's cool. I love uh, that. Ma'am, you can put that up here. Everything's free today. I know. I said the same thing. <laughs> they call him what? Punch made dev. Oh, okay. Who is he? Punch made dev. How do you describe yourself? A great person. Uh, Very caring. <laughs> also, nice. he would describe himself as a rapper and a scammer. Oh, okay. Yeah, he didn't have to snitch on him like most that. Famous scammer. Oh, goodness. Well, good for him. He's doing good doing it, I guess. That touched me. The duality of man, folks. The yin and yang of life, huh? We just went into a and he came out with $10,000 cash. It works. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I appreciate See, it. People only care unless it's them. They only give a fuck unless it's them. If it isn't them, it's funny how their tune they changes. Care. As soon as the scammer's helping them, they don't care. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> yo, he's about to say, yo, that's actually fucking weird. Hold up. <laughs> That was actually weird. I didn't think he was going to say the same Which, shit. I could see why. People are complicated, you know? People are very complicated. I heard the guy that's card that is was working hard at McDonald's for 10 hours for that money. Oh, yeah, he's working very hard. He's running his credit. This is directly from his song. The clerk will let you swipe the car after you jam the tip. After it ain't working two times, she'll let you use the strip. It didn't decline? Uh, no, I didn't find it. Okay. <laughs> Tell them, yeah. They'll probably have a nice day. And sometimes they try to make you use the chip, but that's why you just jam the chip and make it make it purposely decline. So Type what you just thing. did, you follow a step-by-step -step of your own instruction yes. for the song. How does an ordinary person stop that from happening to them? Please, there's no way. Just if, if you, you use your card, debit card, shut the bank off right away. Yeah, but it's not even you losing it, though. You'll just go, like, you'll go pay for it somewhere, or I'll have somebody at, at an inside, like a McDonald's, and they'll swipe that through, and then... 
carnivores mine. So the next scam yeah, we're gonna go really to is like the skimmer. No, no way, way for you to like avoid that. I mean, the shit, skimmer bro. on top of this. It's mainly the one in the store too. Like the one that I just used. It'll have another like. It's quick. Like somebody will pull up and just plop it on quick, and you won't even know. So would you know if you walked up to a one with a skimmer? Would you know? Yeah, I would know. So you can tell. Yeah. Where's the next spot we're pulling up to? We can punch that pizza. Right. You guys, what's going through your head right now? We've seen a few scams. Yo. Right? yo. This is the shit that I want to know. Pretty Tell me how to get some free pizza for real. Song, just make it decline twice and then swipe it. He literally did his own playbook in front of us. Yeah. It's just crazy how easy it is. It doesn't feel as bad when you're stealing from banks. Like if yeah, I knew that, that he was bad. causing people to get evicted or not be able to pay rent or not be able to afford their kids, I'd be really pissed and want to strangle him. But I don't, I'm not as angry that he's scamming a bank. I feel like everybody's got to put the cost eventually. So like... I feel like that's just getting passed on to the the consumer. It's kind of like the hood Mr. Beast. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of the hood Mr. <laughs> it's like Beast. Chaotic evil Mr. Beast. I love that the hood Mr. Beast punch made up. Everybody listen up. It's a punch lesson. Go and get a fire card site. Go to the dump section. Never get a how many pizzas have you? Sure, at least he's in passing on all the time. Domino's really no? my first choice, but you're gonna steal a pizza. I feel like. This is like the, the C level place to steal from. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to call them. I'm about to uh, order like six, seven pieces, and then they're going to ask for the car details over the phone. I'm going to give it to them. You just give someone else's car. Yeah. Uh, Pick up. Can they ask the name for the order? Kane, can I get a large cheese pizza? One Fried months or maybe some sausage uh, pizza? <laughs> <laughs> one large pepperoni. Boss. One large sausage. Yeah. One large sausage. So. This will be $54.09. Yes, yeah, so I could punch it. Yes. Yeah. Is so you just punch the pizza. Yeah, punched a couple pizzas for free. How can Domino's protect themselves from people like you? They can't. They just gotta hope people like me don't want to eat there. Should we do an ATM <laughs> and pick up the pizza? <laughs> they just gotta hope I don't come. The nigga sounds like the fucking boogie man. They just better hope that I don't swing through and really steal their shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this nigga's a fucking boogie right, man. Bro. the ATM. About to show you how to use a clone card real quick. Easy money, man. Yeah, that nigga just be just be going along for the ride. Voila. It's like magic. All right, so what the hell just happened? He just pieced up a chip, took it into the ATM, and cleared that. Bitch. I had my runner going there, cleared that hell out. When we pull up in a ski mask, to honestly, a bank, bro, niggas that scam be low key smart. Like, how do you even like think about this shit? Like. Like, of course, you could be using this shit towards other, everything else, like other things, but like, why would you when it's like this easy? Like, these niggas be really fucking yeah, smart for real. It's too late by the time we leave. Did you notice the two Lexington police officers yeah, in a nearby yeah. parking lot? On the street, yeah, I seen them, yeah. They be there all the time. You just gotta know your area. The theme I'm getting with all of these scams is the only way to stop it is just don't let your stuff get stolen. Yeah. If you lose a card, tell the bank to lock it. And the bank will reimburse you if someone like you strikes. Yeah. The only thing is if like somebody was to wire out more than a quarter million out of your bank account, the government they only uh, protect up to two hundred fifty thousand. FDIC insured yeah. up to two hundred fifty k. If it's no more than two hundred fifty k, you're good. People that are watching this and say, that's actually crazy. That yeah, that's what I was saying shit. in the what beginning. Say like, I say, F you. I'll probably it's up to two fifty, but then you're so fucking done. What are the consequences for scamming? Like, what what are the penalties someone can face for this? It could be a whole bunch of factors. A wire fraud is already one. I mean, you could do it to like 20 plus years. Wire fraud years. is a federal case, right? Yeah. So how are you not scared to let us into your world today? I know what I'm That's doing. what I want to know. Does anyone in your crew have a normal job? No. Why would they? None of you guys do nine to five? Well, unless to cover yeah, up, I guess. Why but would they? Why would... I mean, yo, okay. Yo, it's getting fucking weird now. <laughs> this nigga's head, yo, it's actually getting weird. I haven't even watched this video for real. You gotta have a way to cover it up, you know? Some of us do videos, some of us rap. Some yeah, that makes sense. That's why this nigga videos. raps. Is this your dream job? How long do you plan on being in this game? Forever. <laughs> it's my You're dream job. Grandpa scam Everything I wanted to be in life, I just wanted to be a scammer since I was 10 years old. I just wanted to scam from niggas for real. Like, I dreamed about one day just literally just scamming from an old lady. Like, that's what I wanted to be since I was 10 years old, is what I got from that for Scamming people? Yeah, I'm literally 70 years old, still walking in and out the bank. When your kids get old enough that's to see wild. what you've done on the internet, what do you think you're gonna tell your kids? I'm gonna tell them life isn't supposed to be taken so seriously, so just enjoy it and have fun. If you wanted to buy a home or a rental property with this money, you think you could do that? I have a home. Yeah, I got a, a big ass crib, movie theater, everything in there. I got marble floors, five bedrooms Oh shit, he wasn't lying. I got two bedrooms downstairs, a gym, Movie theater upstairs. Damn. You can see my closet right here a little bit. 
Look at the closet you recently came out of. Hashtag Pride Mon. Our pizza's probably ready. It's time to get our pizzas. Sorry, Domino's. <laughs> Have you ever Domino's fucking mad right now watching this shit like Mad as fuck, bro. I know they I know they be tight, bro. Because I know somebody at headquarters is watching this shit like these fuck niggas, bro. Like you can't have shit. This is why y'all can't have nothing. They do that. This they is why y'all can't have nothing. Everything. How can Domino's protect itself against scammers? You put their number in the system and block them. Yeah. Yeah. That's they got multiple numbers. Yeah, that's like, like that's not even that's like easy. Three eats. Sorry, Domino's. That's like you can download an app to have multiple Free numbers. Like that shit's easy. What food you guys actually pay for? Maybe pop <laughs> if you guys did this to a mom and pop shop, would you feel bad? Nah. Hell no. How old are you, Dev? Below 25. How old Hell are you nah. when you first started doing stuff like this? Like 15. <laughs> Hell no. Fuck them kids. Hell no. This is what I got from that, bro. What was the first scam you ever pulled? It was like e-whoring. I would get like a pictures of like a, a girl I knew or somebody e on the internet. That, that sounds like, like e-whoring sounds like something that happens in Discord. Absolutely. e horn is like something, it's got to be something Discord related because there's, no, there's no way. There's just literally no way. The girl though, you don't want to get like fucking Ruby Rose or oh, something e like that. Yeah, e horn Yeah, e Post it all on Tinder, all them dating apps, and I'll be like, add me on Snap, but I'll sell like a premium and shit like that. That shit was ass though, like just texting like niggas all day. I ain't like doing that. Yeah, it sounds like that OnlyFans business yeah, where niggas just be texting other niggas all day. You impersonate a decently hot chick mm -hmm. pretending to send exclusive Snapchats to thirsty guys out there. And I'll do meetups too. I'll be like uh, 300 for a meetup. And people will literally drive like three to four hours away. But he wants me to tell him what car he's in so he knows like I'm actually there, the female. So he'll pull up to the fucking uh, cul de sac. He was like, he was in a white bin. So I was like, I see you in the white bin. He was like, can I just come in and then pay you after? I was like, nah, send the money up front. It's like late at Down night. Down fucking bad. Yeah, he Holy sent it, shit. And I told him I didn't get it. I told him send it again. He sent it again. He was like, this is my last. I'm literally going negative and I won't have any gas to get home. I swear to God. And then uh, he sent that. And you I didn't feel bad at this point? No, nah, I, I rolled up the window and I yelled, it's the fucking police. And <laughs> Yeah, it's the fucking police. It's the police. Hands up. That's actually fucking hilarious. Oh. <laughs> he was down to his last while driving a Benz. Yeah. So what do you think about some people's financial <laughs> priorities? Yeah, yeah I feel facts. like some people is. Nigga, yeah. you're in a Benz going for a meetup, and that's like your last dollar. Like, what are you? What are you? What are you gonna eat? What the fuck are you even planning on eating that day? One of my pet peeves is littering. <laughs> what the hell is this? We gotta feed birds. birds. Yeah. The birds it's not eat. Yeah, I'm just feeding the animals. How much do you think this ring costs? This that nigga. Sixteen thousand $16, dollars. Here from Johnny. Okay, so we're here at the Airbnb you have for the day. You're gonna show us the last scam of the day. A big way. Wait, I just right noticed now. the chain. This shit is actually kind of hard. I don't know why, like the the skimmer, right? I think that's what that shit's called. I don't know. I'm not a fucking scammer like you guys, but. That's actually kind of tough. I don't, the thing is, a lot of the shit he has on, I don't, like this shit I've seen other people have, but like this, they're like hard, and this shit is actually kind of tough. I'm not gonna lie. Up. This one's going crazy. 255, eight. So 55,000. Literally that simple. And how did you do that? Gotta pay for the size, man, but, and I can cash that out. All right, I don't really know what just happened. <laughs> this is what I do know. We just gave you a how-to video, how to avoid getting How to scam is what you scammed. gave me. To, like, literally what you gave me. I encourage everybody to make money in a legitimate fashion, in a way that you can look yourself in the mirror, be proud of what you're doing. So folks, we just looked in the, the light. <laughs> I don't know if you were trying to roast this nigga, but he literally just told you that this was his dream job. You're not doing anything next saying that shit for scammer. Punch made dev. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Peace. Snake is my favorite fucking, my favorite scammer, bro. Like, I've always wanted to, like, be a fanboy over a scammer, and I'm super glad that I have one now. Thank you.